Hello, I'm Carl Bradge from Chaparral Motorsports, and welcome to the installation of the Zeta handguards. This is gonna allow the handguard to be more protective from branches, sticks, and inclement weather. That's simply gonna bolt directly onto the outside of the bar here. If we flip the bar over, you're gonna see two holes. They're already pre-drilled to accept these handguard shields. So all we we'll have to do is poke a small hole in that decal or peel the decal off. It's your choice on which way you'd like to go. Now what we're gonna do is install these handguard extensions right here. This is gonna allow the handguards to knock away brush a little bit easier, and they're gonna allow us to have a little bit of wind protection now that we're running into the cooler months. All right, we're gonna take our screw, stick it into our guard, set our guard in place here. the Duke setup right now is the most common way that people install the Zeta handguards. Typically they install the handguard itself and then they install the additional guards to protect against branches and cactus thorns and things of that nature. I'm also going to show you this guy right here. This is going to be an integrated turn signal. So we got a wire here on the back that's gonna run down into the housing here to attach to your turn signal. You can attach this to any motorcycle and that's gonna give you an additional turn signal out here on the handguards. Now this turn signal itself is not DOT approved, so you're supposed to run it with existing turn signals installed as well, but most guys don't do it that way. Most guys remove all the signals off their bike and add these on to be their main signal out here on the end of the bar. So stay tuned, future episode, we're gonna be installing these guys. And as soon as we get that done, we'll get a link in the description of this video so you can watch that installation as well. That's gonna wrap up this installation. If you liked what you saw today, please give it a thumbs up. If you're thinking about purchasing Zeta handguards, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear what type of setup you're looking to run and what you're looking to run it on. If you want to be notified when that next episode is released, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be part of the notification squad. Until next time, and as always, take care and ride safe out there.